Hello and welcome to another episode of my Beginner's Guide to Todoist. This is episode 6 and today we're looking at Todoist filters. Now this is not necessarily something unique to Todoist but the way we get the customization ability, if that's a word, uh, to be able to create our own filters so that we can see the things that we want to see on a daily basis, then it is kind of a unique feature. And I really love filters, but it does take a little bit of getting used to their syntax so that you can create your own filters so that they show what you want to see. So before we go any further, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. OK, let's go into my demo demo account now and I'll show you how to get set up with some basic filters. OK, now before we get started with this, I am going to strongly recommend that before you start creating your own filters, you go to this website, which is the Todoist help page for filters. This is going to give you some amazing ideas about what you can do to create your own filters. And there are a lot of filters here you can try out. I love this place because when I get stuck, I really do go, I just go here and I will find tasks that I am just looking, you know, that suddenly go, wow, yes, that is going to be able to help me. And so there's some really good, useful tasks in here. And you can do it based on due dates, priority level, labels, projects, sub projects, sections, when a task was created and any shared projects that you may have. So you've got a few things that we want to look at here. So the the Boolean, I think it's called a Boolean. I, I've forgotten what this is actually called, uh, but it just means ot or I should say like today or overdue and is and uh, exclamation mark which is one of my favorite ones which is not and then you've got various other ones that we can use. So I really want you to look at that before you start creating your own filters but I'm going to show you some simple ones now that you may want to create that are really helpful. So let's go into my Todoist now and let's go in and create some filters. So where do we create filters? Well we go into the filters and label section here. So we tap on that and here we've got nothing in filters. So I'm going to click on plus and we get the add filter name. So what I'm going to do is today's priorities. I know priority really shouldn't be priorities, but anyway, that's what I'm going to call this. Filter query today is, um, I'm going to call this today, which is going to give me today. It means anything that is scheduled for today. Um, I'm also going to put in the or, so we're going to go, uh, where's the or? We're going to go or overdue. Um, and then we're going to do the and, and then I'm going to use the exclamation mark, which means not, and I'm going to put P4, which is the priority for. We're going <clears> to <throat> change the color here. I'm going to make that uh, red because this is going to be our priority task for today. I'm going to add that filter. Now, that filter is now added. You see today's priorities, and it's giving me everything. Actually, it's also including these ones here, which don't have a... Uh, a label. So I've done something wrong. Let's go back into this and we're going to go to the edit function here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to just going to make this a bit simpler. So we've got nothing overdue anyway. So today um, and not P4. And I'm going to save that. And then let's go into there, tap that one. And you can see it's actually uh, showing me the tasks without the P4 task. So this is today's priorities. If I go into today, we have these two tasks here, which are P4. If I go into that filter, uh, you'll see that those two P4 tasks have disappeared. Now, I want to be able to access this very quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that a favorite. I'm just going to hit the star and it's going to go here. Today's 
priorities. So there's one task that I can create. Now, another one that you can create, and this is really a simple one, but again, I find this one really useful. So um, most <laughs> important, I don't actually call it that, but this is what I'm going to call it today. And all I'm going to do is uh, P1. Now, yeah, this filter doesn't necessarily mean um, it's probably you can do this directly from uh, from your from your um, from your search box right here. But again, it gives you an idea of most important <laughs> right there. So I'm going to there. By the way, I need to edit that to go in there and edit that one. You just click on the edit function and most important and save. And there you go. Today's priority is right there. So I can now, I've, I've added that to the favorite, so I can just go there. And that's going to give me basically where I would want to be working from today so that I know that the tasks that I'm working on are the tasks that I've already associated with being a priority. So that's why I like that one. This one here, again, I really, you don't necessarily need that one because I can just go into here. I think I've shown you this before, P1, hit return, and it's just going to give me my P1 task anyway. So this task here, I don't necessarily need. So we'll go back to my uh, most important. We can remove that by clicking on the three dots there and I can just remove, delete the filter and we'll delete it from there. Now, there are other ones that you can use and I'm just going to go into here because it's much easier and I'm not going to make any syntax errors this way. But some of my favorite ones are, let's just go down here because I did see it, is uh, created within the last 12 months within the last 306, within the last year. I'm just going to copy that because it just saves me a lot of time. And I'm going to create a new task. Now, this is um, uh, old tasks. I'm just going to call this. And the filter query, I can just paste it in there and add that task. Now, you're not going to find any tasks in here. But now that I've got that in there, let's go into here. And I'm going to edit that. And I can change the number. So I can now change that. Uh, anything older than, because the minus means older, so anything older than 30 days. And let's just go into there. And whoa, I don't have anything older than 30 days. So I'm just going to go back into this one and just show you that it does work. <laughs> I'm just going to make this uh, older than seven, because I know there's some tasks in there that are have been there for seven days. So I can go in there. And these tasks I actually created more than seven days ago. So I need to do something with these tasks. So you can change that number. That's a really, really useful uh, filter to have, particularly the 365 day one, because anything that's been in there, actually, I change that. I make it 180 days. So anything that's been in my task list for longer than 180, 180 days, I know that I'm not likely to do it. And so I just get rid of it. So this is my, the one that I have for old tasks is for 180 days, basically roughly six months. So that gives me anything that's older than six months. I am going to make sure that I delete them because they just don't need to be there. So going back to this one here, uh, I can see all sorts of things in here. Like I got things like from my project. So again, this is something that you might want to use so let's just create a new filter here. Um, so I'm just going to get today's work. Um, I know there's probably nothing in there, but uh, today and, because it's got to be together, and the project name is work. So I'm just going to go, oops, I put a pound sign there. I don't want a pound. I want, no, I want... So today and work and add that task. Now, it's unlikely that I actually have any filters in there. So I'm going to change one of these. Uh, let's change one of these personal ones to, well, let's just make this. Let's go into the project. Let's change this to, sorry, go into this one here. Change this to work. And it is today, I hope. Let's go back in there. Uh, work. And that's today. So now when we go into that filter, you'll see that that task is there. And this is a really good way of being able to separate out. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go today's work. I'm going to make that priority. I'm going to create another one and it's going to be today's personal. Personal. Um, 
we're going to put in here today and and then the hashtag and personal and I'm going to make that one sky blue and add that one and that's going to give me today's personal so that's good and I'm just going to make a star there oh put that into today's personal uh, add to favorites right so what we've got here is I've now got my setup so that during the day I've got my today's personal so I can just go there today's work I can go in there and then today's priorities will give me the the task so the idea with filters is it's it strips out the low value tasks and only leaves you with the high value tasks that need to be get done so I'm really happy if when I finish the day that this ver version today's priorities because I mix them up personal and work actually are all complete when I see that as zero I know that the job is done and whatever's left is routine or stuff that isn't all that high value and if I have time of course I will get it done so there you go there's just an introduction to filters there's a lot that you can do with it as I say the best thing I can suggest to you is that you go in here and you play around with these filters because you there are so many that you can create and it is a lot of fun experimenting with it it can also be frustrating if you're trying to get uh, a little bit too complex because you can mix and match them like here see every high priority task in the next two weeks again that looks getting a bit more complicated but again it may be something that you just want to play around with and who knows you could find something that's going to really work for you. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently, I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, easy to maintain, so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired, or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.